Hey, welcome back to the channel. It's your man Wise. And today, man, we got to talk about this, man. We got to talk about the billion dollars raised, $1.37 billion spent by Kamala Harris. This is outrageous. How do you raise a billion dollars and your $20 million in debt when it's all said and done and lose and send out text messages to your donors for more bread? This is outrageous. It's outrageous, man. You guys got to see this. I got two clips I want to share with you guys. We're going to check out one from the sister. We're going to go to Jesse. Let's get into it, man. Kamala Harris's campaign is now $20 million in debt, even though she raised $1 billion. This is a person who completely outperformed her opponent month over month in terms of what she raised. Forbes even said that she outperformed him by five to one when it came to last minute donors. But her campaign, even though they raised $1 billion, her campaign is now $20 million in debt. She relied so heavily on multimillionaires and billionaires like Oprah Winfrey to come out and support her and endorse her that she didn't roll out policies sufficient enough for the American people. I cannot believe how disconnected with reality her campaign is and how delusional the Democratic Party is to think that people are going to ignore everything that they are experiencing, the high grocery bills, the high gas prices, all of those things they are experiencing. And because a billionaire like Oprah Winfrey or an actress like Julia Roberts tells you to vote for Kamala Harris, you're going to vote for Kamala Harris. I actually people are not listening to these daggone celebrities. You're telling us that the daggone economy is great. And we're looking at our bank account saying, no, the heck it's not. This is outrageous, man. We saw so many liberals getting super excited every time Kamala had a new celebrity endorsement. But mm -hmm. we all know for a fact that these celebrity endorsements are not free. The only reason these celebrities like Magic Johnson, Oprah Winfrey, Beyonce, the only reason these celebrities took time out of their day to attend a rally and encourage us the American people to vote for Kamala Harris is because they have been paid and it looks like they have been paid millions upon millions of dollars to do so. That's the only reason they did it. I don't even believe that some of the celebrities who endorse Kamala Harris are voting for Kamala Harris. Some of them are probably secret Trump supporters. They just get on stage and say they're voting for Kamala Harris just so they can collect a check. I don't know. It's easy money. Easy money. Easy money. I got a slide I want to share with you guys from uh, X. This out right here. This right here says, wonder who is painting a better picture for America. Campaign spending. Trump raised $381 million or $381.54 million. He spent $345.42 million. Only $10 million of that was spent on staff. Now, let's compare that to Kamala. She raised a billion point zero zero three dollars spent $1.37 billion, and majority of the bread went on staff, $582.53 million on staff. Now, I got to share something. Uh, Jesse Waters is going to speak on something that is just mind-blowing, just mind-blowing. Check this out right here. About Kamala this election, she's good at raising money and she's good at blowing it. But money can't buy you elections, especially when you spend it like she did. She raked in more than a billion dollars and is somehow now in debt. The Washington Examiner dug through her financial statements and gave us a good clue why. Kamala's campaign was getting whacked like a pinata while D.C. leeches hoovered up all the cash. She spent over 50 million dollars on payroll. Trump's campaign spent less than 10. Another 12 million went to consultants and 20 million went to their little concerts with Lady Gaga, Katy Perry, Christina Aguilera, John Bon Jovi, remember him? They even had to cancel a performance by Alanis Morissette because they were running low on cash. Isn't that ironic? <laughs> Campaign insiders are mad at the bosses for wasting donor money on concerts instead of ads about, you know, the economy. Quote, they said they were spending to zero. I guess they overshot zero. Yeah. Ads would have gone a lot further than the pricey celebrity endorsements. One campaign source said people were concerned about their own financial issues, not Oprah telling them America won't exist. But it worked out nicely for Oprah. She got her friend Kamala to pay her a million dollars to interview her in September. A million dollars. Wow. Now, if she thought she was saving democracy, she should have done it for free. 
Kamala scared donors by calling Trump a dictator, got a billion bucks, then just gave it to her friends and blew the rest on being a diva. Kamala went on a podcast, remember, call her daddy, but she didn't want to go to their studio in L.A. So she made the host fly to D.C. and used campaign cash to build a fake set in a hotel room. She spent more than a hundred grand to build it. That's that's insane. That right there is insane. You want to talk about being wasteful. That is insane. That, see it? Two chairs, a coffee table, and a bookshelf. That's six figures. Now, we looked at the set. We probably could have done it for around six grand. That's without labor. But where'd the rest of the money go? We don't know. So she's still trying to soak folks for cash. 24 hours after the election, on Wednesday, Democrats got a text from the campaign. Urgent. We need help. Donate now. Help with what? You lost. If this is how she's going to spend her donors' dollars, imagine what she would have done with our taxes. Absolutely. I mean, we are literally watched them run the country into the ground. We're living it. We're living it right now. People unemployed like nobody's business. Bank accounts are short. Credit card debt is, is at all-time highs in this country. It is outrageous. And this is the person that people were crying and screaming over that because she didn't win this race when she couldn't even properly run her campaign. How do you raise a billion dollars and still end up $20 million in the hole? This is, this is just insane. This is ridiculous to me. And anybody from the Democrat party that donates money after the fact, especially after hearing this, man, you're a fool as well, but a fool and their money shall part. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Like, share, subscribe, drop me a comment, join the ARP family. Keep God first in your life. Stay prayed up, and we'll catch up with you all next time. Peace.